part two. Bonnie's turn, right? Yeah. I don't want them to get any kind of diseases or any kind of sicknesses. And uh, the reason why this water is green like that is because I feed them lettuce in here. And uh, this is how it gets. So every two days, every two days or three days, sometimes I get lazy and I, I skip a day or something happens and I don't have time. Uh, to clean it, um, that's when I clean this tank. I put new crystal clear water. I do it early so that I can sit there for 24 hours. And this way, the, the water's ready for them so that they can eat. And I use this python here. This python is really come in handy. I don't know. And there's Bubba, still begging for food. <coughs> oh, one more thing I want to mention, right? Which is really cool. Eh, again, uh, is another little tip that I'm I'm doing, right? This thing. I purchased this thing for about 
10 bucks on Amazon and I got two of them okay and what you do is you have a little I don't know if you can focus if you can focus on that all right you have this timer and this is basically a clock right you see 12 a.m. and then it goes into one two and this is this is the the night hours and this is like the day out well I guess but in any case what you do is these things lift up I'm going to show you let's see if I can do it hmm. give me a sec very difficult to do it with one hand. There you go. There you go. So, you see how that's lifted? Okay. And what you do is you, you, you set the time, right, by, by doing this. So if it's 7 in the morning, right, you would go to, you would go to 7 a.m. All right, you plug this into, into that there. See that? I have one of these back there. And basically, this light turns off, that light turns off, that light turns off. And I have it set so that, uh, and, the, and the extra pump that I have in the back turns off, right? Because I have these two canisters that are keeping the water clean, and where there's no activity, and there's no activity in, in the tank, right? There's no need to have that, that middle um, pump going. So basically everything becomes quiet at night for them. This way they can sleep. Lights turn off at exactly 9.05. 9.05, everything turns off. This is excellent because I set this up at 6.30 in the morning. Sometimes I don't wake up at 6.30 in the morning, but I want them to have a full night cycle. I want them to wake up when they wake up. Um, it's healthier for them. Ooh, she's almost done with her pellets. And it's almost time for me to go to work. But it's healthy for them to have a night cycle. It's healthy for them to go to sleep at, at, at a certain time. Um, this is what turtles do. Uh, they keep an eye on, on, the, on, the, on the light um, in the wild. Basically at night time they start, they start getting ready for bed. They go to sleep, and they they do sleep. They sleep in the water. Some turtles, very few and far between, like this one, goes to sleep up here where it's nice and private because she is super shy. She's very shy. She's gonna start. She look at her. She ate all her pellets, and now she's going after after the lettuce too. I'm gonna I'm gonna give her that but anyway um, back to my point this is very good for them this is excellent to have for your turtle tank to make sure that they get their night cycle that they get that sleep that rest okay because during the day they bask and they they do all kinds of things they eat they swim a lot. And you don't want a crabby turtle. Because sometimes he can get grumpy. And if he gets grumpy, that means they fight. But luckily for me, I have two turtles that have been raised together for a very long time. Uh, since they were the size, the size of a nickel. Um, I know the history of these turtles. Um... I know who take care of them. These are family turtles that were given up 
and then had to be rescued again. Uh, um, these were my wife's turtles when she was a lot younger. She bought them for our son um, back in the day, and and she had to give them up. I wasn't with her at the time. Um, so yeah. Yeah, that's what happened. These guys, little guys had to go somewhere else, and then all of a sudden... Uh, she told me about these guys, and uh, and I had to rescue them and stuff. And basically, the previous owner was going to put them in a river. I don't know. Do turtles belong in a river? I don't think they would have survived. I don't know. Um, I know there's river turtles, but these guys are red-eared sliders. I think they belong to a lake, no? Anyway, I just want to thank you, and uh, I got to get ready for work. Take care. Have a great day.